All right, everybody, welcome to our Tuesday night secret training. Jesse McPherson coming at you live from back here in Phoenix, Arizona. I am home. Missed you guys a little bit as I've been traveling a bunch. Uh, God bless you, Tricia. Uh, so I saw that. I saw that sneeze. See, that's what happens when you're on camera. I see what y'all are doing. So, <laughs> um, uh, but uh, just got back last week. I was in South Korea doing meetings, doing events over there, which was unbelievable, watching all the new excitement things that are happening. And I'm coming back to Korea at the end of this month. And one of the reasons I'm coming back at the end of the month is because, um, so, um, because uh, they have their first convention, actually, after the course of, gosh, how many years is this? Over three years of not being able to have any real live events. This is going to be one of their first big conventions coming back, uh, which is super exciting for them to be able to get back in and do kind of just, just hug it out with everybody who we've missed for so long. Um, but for those of you guys that are brand new to the team, we want to welcome you. We want to welcome you to Secret. We want to welcome you to the family. We want to welcome you to the community. It's a big part of one of those that we're so excited here that we're building and where we're going and the mm -hmm. direction that we're so today I want to go over a little bit of kind of some strategy, where we're going, and then go into a communication. We put on the flyer here, the art of communication, because quite frankly, it's one of, I think, the most important parts of our business. It's also one of the most important parts of understanding how to move, uh, not just your a business, but yourself, because the conversation that we have with ourselves is very important. Would you guys agree? Right? So... Right. Yeah. So and some of you guys are not. And it's like, you know, because y'all know you talk to yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Some of you are like, do I talk to myself? That's the one. There's a committee going on most of the time for most people. And it's very interesting how this self talk, the communication we have with ourselves, the communication that we have with others. So, what I heard a long time ago is our business is 20% mechanics and 80% psychology. I'm going to say that again 20% mechanics, meaning what to do, and 80% psychology, meaning how you respond or react, which is one of the things that I see people do generally more than often is instead of responding to situations, most people are reacting. It's a reactive mentality. It's a, whoa, what is going on here? Whoa, what's going on there? What do I do in this situation? When someone throws them an objection, if somebody decides that they don't want to do secret anymore, there's this responsiveness or reactiveness that happens a lot of people and kind of fight or flight, which is usually one of those two things that happen. So today we want to talk a little bit about that, but before we do what we're doing and where we're going, first of all, if you haven't been on our team site, now in this particular Zoom we do on Tuesday nights, we have lots of different organizations from all over the world that plug in to this synergy organization. So synergy isn't a team necessarily. It's actually a collective. It's a group of people and a group of teams and leaders that are coming together because we want to get a chance to get connected to the source, get connected to the information, get connected to exactly what's happening right now in the world of secret and all the updates that are going through there. So our website, if you haven't seen it, is teamsynergyagents.com, teamsynergyagents.com. We have a bunch of stuff on there, resources and trainings. Here's the reason I'm giving you guys this website. You guys are going to see a major overhaul on this website where it's going to continue to improve. It's going to continue to advance. So oops, team synergy, not training. So team synergy agents.com, right? So you're going to be seeing some major updates to this as we have brought on some incredible leaders that are incredible at systems and onboarding. And what we want to do is basically simplify. If you want to speed up in our business, you need to get simpler. So on our website, you'll notice over here, we've got places to get plugged in, our WhatsApp broadcast channel, our Telegram. So you never miss a replay. You never miss a call. You never miss a video. Obviously, our secret agent bulletin board, joining our secret agent team Facebook page if you're not on. Uh, the Team Synergy Facebook page, get on there. If you aren't following us on Instagram, we have obviously the Vimeo account. We have a countdown to where we're all headed here. Oh my God, it's nine days. Oh my God. So it's coming fast. We're all going to be in Dallas here this next weekend. Obviously where to register. We also have a calendar and an update on our calendar where we're actually looking at ways for us to sync this with Google. So that way, when a new person gets started, they can just hit add and it adds our entire Google calendar into their phone. So that way they already know when the updates are, when the calls are, when the trainings are with the Zoom link, with the ID, with the code. So you don't have to always go that Wait, Where? What's the link? Wait, what's the website? You don't have to do any of that stuff. We also have our new agent document here, which is incredible. One of our presentations, and I want to give you guys some updates because we're going to be having some new group codes, some new recorded updated overviews here that is going to be done by the end of this week, right? So 
on our website. Ton of great stuff here for you to get connected to. Also, past events. If you haven't seen this yet, we have a lot of our new train our trainings on here. So we have our Tuesday night trainings, which we have recorded. We have some of our power hours, which is an activity oriented training. We have our new agent trainings and some of our wow Wednesdays, which are really focused on our products. So why is this so important is this is if you have a new agent, they can literally you can go look at all the new orientations. And these are the replays of the ones that we've done over the last couple of weeks. So what's great is you can actually just get people connected to this amazing system. We have our replays of all of our previous trainings from different conversations. So this is great stuff that you'll be able to get great content from as well. All right. So there's that. Now, I've also got some big updates that are going to be coming to you guys here live in terms of what's going to be happening at The View. So for those of you guys are strapped in and ready for a view from the edge, if you're brand new and you don't know about it, The View from the Edge is going to be in a very impactful event because we're not just going to be giving you the world-class training from Mark Asetta, uh, you know, in, in full form production mode. We're also going to be giving you training on preparing for the season that we're heading into. For those of you guys that know, we are heading into from that about a month and a bit out of Black Friday, which secret is owns in this space, right? So, and what we do when it comes to Black Friday and the training and the resources we're going to give you over the course of the weekend, it's one of the reasons I'm very excited to be one of the knighted trainers over the course of that is to really teach you guys how to capitalize strategically on having Black Friday be one of the biggest days and December being the biggest month of the year for you guys. And if you haven't heard those trainings, we're going to be doing a lot of that over the course of this next month. Now, in this reason, I want you to get this season, why this is so important. Holiday season is a shopping season and secret products are the best gift products. Would you guys agree with me on that? All right. So they are incredible, right? Not just what they do for people, but that's, it's more so a season for skincare. Skincare sells better during the holidays than the nutrition, right? I mean, know your audience, but you know what I mean? If you buy your wife Digestex for Christmas, I don't know if that's going to go over so well. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just, I mean, <laughs> maybe, maybe, but probably not. So, <laughs> so all roads lead to Black Friday, but Black Friday isn't the end of the shopping season. It's the beginning of the shopping season. So we're going to punch it through all the way through towards December. Now, in the middle of December, there's a big shift, right? And the big shift is falling into the new year. And so what are we launching in the new year? That's right. New year, new you, club fit challenge program, but we're taking everything to the next level. For those of you guys that were a part of these last series, and we are going app based. That's right. We have developed our own club fit app and is everything is hosted inside of it, your meal plans, your recipes, your before and afters, your data, our community. We're getting off of Facebook, forget Facebook, who cares about Facebook? We have our own system, our own app with everything in it where you can literally type in salmon and it pulls up all the recipes in salmon. You can type up, like it is, insane when you see what this thing does it also has your habit trackers it also is going to record all your data inside of it so we're launching big into the new year and then obviously as we know what we have during this season is right now on thursday so i'm, I'm kind of going forward and then let's backtrack you here guys a little bit as to where we are right now is we are on thursday launching our new getaway platform premiere program now this is Huge. Now, I want you guys to kind of put all these pieces together here because what are we building here in Secret? We are a lifestyle community. We are the ultimate lifestyle membership that gives people access to the good life. And the good life is the things we use, the experiences we have, the education that we get, all those different pieces. But one of those experiences is getting a chance to see the world. We're bringing you the wonders of the world with the Dead Sea, alkaline based, hydration, nutrition, and hydrogen, molecular, but we want to not just bring you the wonders of the world, we want you to see the wonders of the world, right? And so with this, the program on Thursday, now this is going live. Does anyone know? I keep hearing one o'clock, but I thought it was three o'clock. Does anyone know what time we're going? Is it three o'clock or one o'clock? One o'clock. Yeah, it's one o'clock. Okay. So it's one o'clock Pacific. It's three o'clock central, which would be 4 p.m. Eastern and mountain, figure yourself out. You're right there in the middle. So all right, no, that's two o'clock, you know, so one hour class. So you've got one o'clock. So we're talking one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So they're going to be unveiling the new booking engine and the website for all of us to be able to get this. Now, I don't know if you guys know this. They basically created the online platforms where you can see it 
you guys, like you spoke, they listen because people are like, well, I don't know which voucher I want to use. So they're giving you now a look around inside of each of the different vouchers to decide if you want to activate that voucher so you can go in for booking, right? For whether it be the cruises, whether it be the resorts that we have, the incredible properties that we have in Mexico um, and more coming, the fives, holy cow, that program. So we also have the Soul, which is over in Puerto Vallarta, a different location. But the one that we're all really excited about is the newest addition to the program, which is our eight day, seven night, which is with over a thousand locations. This is going to be coming up here. And I know you guys saw this already. I just have to, I have to show it here real quick before we get into some of our other conversation here for tonight. So on the website, I want you guys to get this. So we're talking about seven nights. That's eight days at over a thousand locations. And with this at no, now, if you book within 30 days, it's no additional cost. If you want to book outside of that, there's a little extra fee, but it, within 30 days, this is really designed for somebody when they get started in secret to use right away. We want them to go experience something. They don't necessarily, they don't need a, a visa. They don't need a COVID. They don't need to leave their country. Now, some people will want to, but it's not a mandatory. There'll be online reservations. But the other thing that's great is that some of these accommodations and hotels allow more than two people, four people, eight people. And guess what? Groups are allowed. That is right. So if you go sign up a family of six, seven, eight people and their friends, they can all get on this and all go do this together. Can you imagine getting doing your, you know, eight, eight family members and they all join secret and then for the only $50 with taxes and fees and claiming this, they get this. So look at this from Orlando. This is $2,000 on Expedia for us. What? 50 bucks. And it sleeps six, which means you can put your kids in there. Right. So how about this in Hawaii? How about this in Yellowstone, New Hampshire, British Columbia? Look at this in Cabo, guys. 50 bucks off your Club Seeker getaway with this, over a $4,000 trip on booking.com. So uh, this resort I've actually seen over there in Cancun, which is incredible. But you want to go to the Grand Cayman Islands? You want to go to England? You want to go to Sweden? You want to go to Italy? You want to go to Vietnam? Where do you want to go? And so this program, because of the sheer size of it and the amount of people that we can have, this is going to be absolutely huge. So this is Thursday at one o'clock. Now, I want to let you guys know, anytime you have a new program, is there bound to be issues when thousands and thousands of people try to log on at the exact same time and use the program simultaneously? Everyone go like this. Yes. Is something's probably going to be slow? Yes. Is it possible there might be a couple of glitches? Yes. Guys, you guys know Apple, one of the biggest companies in the entire world. You know, when they do their software updates, there's always bugs when they do that. If they have trillions of dollars in the bank and they have software issues when they do their program, when they have a billion people working for them, there's going to be a couple of things. So everyone do this. If you need to, if you're one of those people, don't <laughs> react. We're going to respond. And here's how we're going to respond. We're going to go, Woosah. You guys remember Bad Boys? I don't know if you guys remember that movie. Woosah. It's fine. Take a deep breath. It'll be fine. Okay. So we'll get all the bugs tweaked uh, that we need to get tweaked and fixed over the course of the weekend and with your feedback, right? Now, as we go into this Thursday night, my boy Austin over there, I see him as a free bearded man. Um, so uh, we are going to be doing a presentation led by none other than Mr. Austin Zuloff and Mazafar Nashfi on Thursday night. This is going to be a guest event opportunity for you to invite anybody and everybody you possibly want to. And Mazafar told me that if you don't have a guest on it, that you don't care about your future. No, I'm just kidding. He didn't say that. Um, so, but no, seriously, uh, I think this is going to be an incredible opportunity. Austin, we're kicking that off, if I'm not mistaken. Is that at uh, 8 p.m.? Wait, uh, which time zone are we in for that on Wednesday night or Thursday night? I'm sorry. We're in all time zones, but my time zone is 8 Eastern. And so we're going to we're going to start at 8 Eastern sharp. 8 Eastern sharp. So this time zone, this time. So 6 p.m. Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Cent. No, 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 no. 8 Eastern. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Oh, oh, you messed me up. Okay, let's write this down, people. 5 p.m. Pacific. There we go. All right, we can do this. We can get there. So I might not be fast, but I might not be slow. 5 p.m. Pacific, 6, 7, and 8. So you got 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Pacific. So Thursday, you have two times that you need to pay attention to. You have the company update call, which is going to be at 1 p.m. Pacific. And then you have a business overview done by the two of the legends in this space, talking about everything that we have available in the world of secret. That's going to be at five. So one o'clock and five o'clock Pacific. Uh, it's also would be 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. on the East Coast, right? So want to make sure that you guys are connected to all of those programs on Thursday. And then next week, we'll be back here, same time, same channel. And then we'll be back and we'll be at the View from the Edge. So 
some of the updates, where we're going, where this is heading, Black Friday into the course of the weekend. Also, over the course of the weekend, you're going to get a bunch of updates here if you guys are using Rapid Funnel, right? So we're going to have some also some updates for that, group codes, some new updates, new presentations and recordings this week. Today, though, kind of subject-wise, as I started, started talking about communication and where this is. So what we're doing, what we're building, where we're going. So uh, one of the biggest things in our business that's really important to understand is that new blood is the lifeblood of your business. Now, if you're new, this doesn't necessarily apply totally to you yet, but it will start applying to you as you're growing your business. And it's a lesson that I wish I would have learned earlier on in my career. In fact, it's something I struggled with for a long time. Now we hear this new blood is the lifeblood of our business, right? So what, what, is, what does that mean? And why is that? Is it just because they want me to go keep getting people? You know, it's like, oh, well, this is a never ending thing. It's like, well, no, I want you to look at a little bit of traditional business, but then I want to share it with you in a little different context that I believe can help. Okay. So first thing is this, is if you own a traditional business, like down the road, there's a McDonald's somewhere, right? So there's always one <laughs> not too far away. So if I own a McDonald's franchise, how many guys agree those are pretty successful? Now, whether you agree with the food or not, successful. Right now, here's the thing that's successful about a McDonald's is what most people and what Ray Kroc did is he systematized, right, cooking. Now, I think if I asked every single one of you, I want you to tell me about your like the best hamburger you've ever had in your entire life. Like, I mean, it's just it's just like when you think about it, it makes you salivate. You love it so much. You're probably not describing McDonald's. And if you are, you need help. Right now, their French fries are ridiculous. We all know that, but we're not talking about French fries, we're talking about burgers. So, what they have is they have a billion served now, billion served because of their system. Right? So, we can all do it. Everyone, do me a favor, close your eyes real quick, unless you're driving, and that would be weird. All right, so don't do that. But if you close your eyes, I'll close my eyes with you. I want you to walk into McDonald's. Okay, I want you to walk up to the counter. All right, so you're at the counter. Can you guys? Can you guys? Can you guys see the counter? And you look up at the menu, and you can see. You know, you got your Big Mac. You got this. You got that. You got that. Now, everyone, do me a favor. Point to the French fry machine. Open your eyes. It's on the left. Isn't that trippy? Every single time, right? You had your eyes closed. You know their system, right? So, right, hamburgers come in what color wrapper? Cheeseburgers come in what color wrapper? Fish fillet come in what color? Well, now they come in a box, actually, right? So, wait, now some of you have never worked at McDonald's. You could do their system. That's how stupid simple it is, right? So, now the reason I'm sharing that with you, successful business. But do they have a high turnover in their business? Yes. There are people that come, there are people that go. Which means if you don't recruit, in other words, hire staff your business, even in one of the most successful and simple businesses on the planet, you are out of business if you don't keep recruiting. You're gone. Every company in the world to be successful continually staffs their business. And so what I want you to be thinking about is this, is we're staffing our business, but more importantly, we're giving somebody else the opportunity to have life-changing community around them to support them in their vision, their goals. We're going to be there to celebrate in their success. We're going to be there to lift them up in their setbacks. Like most people do not have a community like this that is going to be there through them through thick and thin, no matter what happens in their lives. That's what we have here in the world of secret, which is such a blessing. So in that, we're going out there and sponsoring and new, new people, okay? But with that, there was a psychology study that was done a long time ago, and I wish I could cite the source because I hate it when people give out like, you know, their facts and they don't remember the peer studies on this. So don't quote me exactly on this, but I want to give you a little bit of the gist of how this worked because it kind of, it goes into this conversation, okay? So, oh, no, don't do that. That's not what I meant to do. I didn't mean to share that. What am I doing? I'm going over here. Come on, Jesse, you've been doing Zoom along. You know how to do this. Oh, God, don't need to. Come on. There we go. All right. So when it comes to it comes to building a business, they talked about the psychology of people and what they were thinking about the most and where that landed them. So they were actually doing a survey on the social structure. So they were looking at the lower, the middle, okay, and the upper class, okay? So lower, middle, and upper class in terms of money, how much wealth they had accumulated, right? So obviously lower middle, I think we could call, you know, mostly get that. And they said, what were the things that they were thinking about the most? What was the conversations that they were having the most? And what they found out is that the lower class was really focused so much on the past, past conversation. Can't believe this happened. This should have happened. They should have done this different. My parents should have done this. School should have been better. That, you know, should have, it's just a should. It's a, it's a past conversation. 
The middle was really focused a lot on the present. What was happening in the now? Okay, what do I got to get done now? What do I got to do now? My job that's happening now, the things that are happening now. And the upper class was focused on what? Anyone guess? Uh, let's see, I mean, you guys are pretty smart, all right? So future. Now in the future, here's what's interesting is that they actually broke the upper class into three different divisions. They've focused on the lower, the middle, and the upper class of the upper class, right? So, all right, meaning like, you know, the, 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 the lower bro rich people, <laughs> right? So, and what they'd found is that these people were actually look, thinking about the future. That was the majority of their thoughts, their conversations, what they were focused on, what their, the, the community they were around, the books they were reading, the ideas that they had were on that. But they found that they were thinking about different time frames. They said that the lower was thinking about one year into the future. Middle was thinking about five to 10 years. And anyone guess how long Upper was thinking? So was it like 20, 30, 50? Nope. Next generation. They were thinking about beyond themselves, meaning their kids and their kids and their kids, meaning their legacy is, would be another word for this, right? So legacy. Now this is an interesting conversation. So what I think about or where I spend the majority of my time thinking about determine the level of success that people had when it came to their life and their future. This is really important when it comes to our business, right? So new people, this is what happens, right? So a new person gets started in the business, okay? And they get started in the present, okay? But a new person, what are they thinking about when you're introducing the business? They're thinking about what can happen? What's the possibility? What's exciting? And so a new person, is focused pretty much completely to the what? The future. This is what they're thinking about. This is the conversations that they're having. This is what they're excited about when they're making a list, they're goal setting. They're looking and thinking into the future, right? So why? Because, oh, all right. I know. We got to, hang on, I got to mute. Okay, there we go. So. Okay. And why is that? And the reason why they're thinking about the future in secret they have no past. <laughs> there, there, there is no past for them to think about in secret, right? This is why I want you to think about it. The moment you got started in secret. Now, secret might have been your first business. Secret might have been your second business. It doesn't matter. But the moment you get started in secret, isn't it amazing how it's super exciting? Super exciting, right? Why? Because all we're looking at is our what? Future. We're looking in the right direction and what we do and where we look determine how we act in the present. If I'm looking into my past, I'm gonna respond in my present a certain way. If I'm looking in my future, I'm gonna respond in my present in a certain way. So what this does is this gives people a direction or specifics as to what it is. This is why they say new people. New people don't have a past to talk about, right? So what, like in 2020, COVID changed the world. I think we can all agree on that. Were there challenges that every company went through, that Secret went through? Of course, we had growing pains. We had new things. We launched new programs. We launched new countries, right? So, but I have a new person joining today. Do you think I'm telling them about the challenges I had in 2021? No, it's not relevant. This just happened to me this weekend. This is an important distinction I want everybody to get, right? So I was having a conversation with somebody this weekend been in secret for a long time, right? And they were telling me about something seven years ago. And they were like, seven years ago, this happened, this happened, this happened. And they were stuck on something from seven years ago. And I was like, oh, all right. So a past conversation. So from this conversation, and I looked at somebody that was brand new and this brand new person that's only been in the business about three months. And I was like, hey, what do you think about this? And she's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I was like, exactly. Meaning the thing that has you hung up right now makes no difference to the new person that just got started, has nothing to do with them. So a new blood and new perspective is so important. Now, how this really relates into our business is really, really important because of where we're going. So I, this is my goal, right? I'm not always great at it, but this is my goal. My goal is to spend 80% of my time with people that have been in the business 90 days or less. I'm going to say that again, right? My goal is to spend 80% of my time 
with people that have been in the business for 90 days or less, meaning my conversations are about new people. Now, how do I know what this is this? From a leadership perspective, my job is to completely always all the time is redirect focus. This is leadership, right? Because I can always tell when somebody slips into a past conversation because they're like, well, should, could, right? This is where the mentality goes. It's all back into the past, all back into the past, all back into the past, all back into the past. And here's the reason why. Because most of the people that are calling them are calling them to talk about the past. Oh, man, it happens all the time. I'm even guilty of this sometimes where I'm like, you know, and even Isaac had to come grab me one time. And he was like, dude, <laughs> like, get your head out of the past, bro. We need you back here. We need you focused in this direction. And that's a big part of it. Now, how does this relate in communication? We talked about the art of communication. So this is one of uh, this is an exercise that I uh, that I, I enjoy doing. I haven't done it in a long time. And um, uh, it's, uh, it's an exercise you have to do physically in front of the room. So it's a little bit difficult to do over Zoom. I attempted it this morning on the Latin bronze and above. So I even tried it my first time and with translation and it kind of worked. So anyway, I don't know if it'll work completely. This could be a colossal failure. And if it is, I'm gonna blame Austin. Um, so, but let's see if we can make this work for you guys, okay? So, <laughs> okay. All right. So this is, uh, I want you to picture this in, uh, through, uh, through a scenario. Okay. And uh, we're going to do a communication exercise. So Austin, I'm going to use you if you can unmute and I need one uh, more, uh, let's see, I'm going to grab, let's see who's got, um, who's got a mic that, uh, I, know, I can get on here. I'm going to, who I can play with. Cause it'd be fun. So, um, Allison, are you available? Are you available to talk? Or I can get Jen on. Jen, are you there, Newkirk? Can you, uh, are you on audio or video? Or can you be on, uh, can you be on talking? Say hi. Or Kirk? Kirk I'm on. Yeah, okay, I'm talking. Can you be on video or no? I'm on too. Oh. I, no, I can't be on right now. Oh, man. Um, oh, okay. I'm, Allison is on. Can you know you hear what? Me? Allison, can you see me and can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, perfect. Okay, hi. Sorry, Jen. So I, uh, I wanted to video, but God, obviously you can tell I have not planned this in advance. Um, so, all right. So Allison, by the way, congratulations on your new promotions here over the last couple of months. We're super excited for you. Um, so it's so good much. to see you over here in Phoenix. Um, I see your name on my board. So always excited to see your name every day. Um, now, now uh, so one of the things is this. So I want to do a little communication exercise. And I want you guys to picture this from like the front of the room. Okay. So I want you to picture... All right, so this is Allison, okay, all right, so, and she has hair, right, so, and then this is Austin, okay, and he has a beard, okay, so Austin, all right, and I want to picture this is Jesse, I'm in the middle here, okay, right, so, and I'm in the middle conducting this exercise, and they are completely directly on the opposite side of the room, and I want you to picture this is the room, and you got all the people that are sitting in chairs over here, you guys kind of picture this, yes, okay, yes. all right, so, in this case, we're going to do a little communication exercise, all right? Now, in doing this, what I would do is I would literally take a piece of paper and I would stand in the front of the room like this, okay? So I stand in the front of the room like this so the audience can't see what's on the piece of paper, right? Can't see what's on the piece of paper. Now I've got Allison on one side and I've got Austin on the other side of me. So they can see the paper, but the audience cannot. All right. So in this case, because I can't do it the exact same way, we're going to do it this way. I'm going to ask Austin to close his eyes quickly. All right. And you cannot open your eyes or you will ruin this. So don't mess this up. Okay? So you cannot, you cannot open your eyes. All right. So Allison, all right. So I'm going to ask you real quick. Okay. This is very important. All right. So, all right. I hope you guys, hope you guys can understand. This is a very, 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 very important. Okay. So, all right. I want you two okay are you ready all right allison's on this side so can you describe to me allison what you see okay talk to me what do you see here oh i see yeah. a triangle in a circle you see a, you see a triangle in a circle okay all right keep going so is that it yes. triangle in a circle yes okay anything else you want to describe that you see that's it that's it 
Okay, all right, perfect. So she's trying to close a thousand. I want you to close your eyes real quick. So you got to close your eyes real quick. All right. So you got your eyes closed? No, nope, I see them. Yeah. Close your eyes, girl. Don't cheat. No cheating over here. All right. So, all right. You you cannot you cannot cheat. All right. So, all right, perfect. So you see the circle and triangle. All right, Austin. I want you to open your eyes. What do you see, boss? Um, a square, two dots, and a U. A square, two dots, and a U. Interesting. Yes. Okay. All right. So a square, two dots, and a U. So Allison said there was a circle. Do you see a circle? Um, I do not. You do not see a circle. Okay. She also said there was a triangle. Do you see a triangle? No, I do not. Do not see a triangle. Okay, cool. All right. Just want to make sure. So you see a square, two dots, and a U. That's right. Okay, perfect. Close your eyes real quick. All right. So close your eyes. All right. So, all right, Allison, open your eyes. Allison, open your eyes. So, all right. Uh, okay. So he said that there was a square. Do you see a square? No. No, you don't see a square, right? I, I don't. I don't see a square. Yeah. You don't see. You don't see a square. He said there was also two dots and a U. Do you, do you see the two dots and a U? No, I don't. No. What do you I, see? I'm feeling. I still see the triangle you and see, uh, the circles around. Yeah. Yeah. There's so a there's a circle and a triangle in it. There's a circle and a triangle, right? Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, but so you're sure? So there's no square. Hundred percent. Hundred percent no square. So he must be lying. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, the is crazy, right? He's yeah, saying, I feel crazy. <laughs> yeah, right? So, okay, cool, great. All right, close your eyes, close your eyes real quick. Close your eyes real quick, close your eyes. All right, so ready? All right, and Austin, open your eyes. All right, so Austin, so um, she really, really says that there's a triangle here. You, you don't see a triangle? No. She actually said there's no square. So she's like, I mean, what do you think about this woman right now that doesn't see this square? Um, I don't know. She must be seeing a different piece of paper. Yeah, she must be like, I don't know what she's looking at because she's looking at obviously something different than you're looking at, right? So like she actually, you know what? She said you she said you were crazy for seeing a square because she said there's no square. Right. That's what she said. So I mean, is there a, is there a triangle here? I don't see it. No, so she's got to be a liar. I mean, she's Louise, this <laughs> lying woman. Just, I can't even believe the way that she, like, she, 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 she thinks you're crazy, bro. I just want you to know this. She is correct. Yeah. So strangers for a living. So yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Now do me a favor. Both of you guys open your eyes. All right. So here's yeah. our piece of paper, both of your eyes. So this is what Austin is seeing. Oh, Allison, you see it? On the other side of the paper. Oh, this that's what Allison is seeing, right? <laughs> so, all right, now, real quick, Austin, do you see the triangle and the circle? I do see that. Oh, uh, so uh, Allison, do you see the square and the two eyes with a U, which was supposed to be a smiley face that I obviously drew I very did hard. see it, yes. <laughs> all right, so. Just, I yeah. do see that, yes. Right. Now, why is this important when I do this in front of the room? Because I have, what's great is this, you guys could see what's on both sides of the paper. When I do this in front of the room, none of the audience can see what's on either side of the paper. So they hear two people talking about something that doesn't sound correct. And if I can get them to banter with each other long enough, I can kind of just get them riled up and get them to just talking shit to each other, <laughs> right? okay. which is the best part. All right. Now, you guys obviously are personally developed and you've been through some communication skills and all these other stuff. That's not how most people in the world operate. Now, here's the question that I ask people in this, which one of them is right? Both. They are both correct from their point of view. Pay attention, guys. This is gonna be an incredible training for the next 15 minutes if you can capture this. This is gonna help a lot of you make some very important decisions with your life. Okay, so this is their point of view and your point of view, perspective, exactly. So they're both correct from where they're standing, all right? Which means that in when I communicate with somebody, if somebody has a confrontation or somebody's upset about something or something is, somebody is, wrong, nobody argues a wrong point of view. You guys understand that, right? Like no one is going to argue against something that they don't see. So it's very real for them. 
right? Now, right now we're doing something stupid if we're doing a square and we're doing a circle, right? That's what we're doing right now. But this could be secret is really hard. Interesting. Secret is really hard from this perspective. That's interesting because I don't have, I don't see that. I see that secret is fun. That's what I see. I see that secret is amazing. I see uh, that, that. So that's an interesting perspective. Now, can both of those people be right? And the answer is yes, from their perspective, right? So it's not that they're wrong, but it doesn't mean that it's right or it's truth. This is where this is an important conversation. So how do I lead people through this? Because new people are always constantly pushing themselves in the past, pushing themselves in the past, pushing themselves in the past and talking about the past. So what happens is they get stuck there and they start talking about this as if this is real, as if the future, you don't have an impact on your future because the future is always going to repeat what the past does. And that's baloney. If you don't think you can change your stars, you haven't been in this industry long enough, for God's sakes. Like what's possible inside of this business? When you decide to do something different, actually, now, if you keep doing the same things you're doing in your past, you can expect the same in your future, right? Obviously. But in this particular case, is this perspective. So how do I do this? First of all, is this. I just, and this is me. This is me personally. I'm not saying I'm the best communicator in the world, right? So I tend to be more the peacemaker. You guys know in secret, there's the thing. If you want to kick in the ass, you go to Mazafra, you want to hug, you come to me. That's how it goes. All right. So, but in this particular case, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm not going to make them wrong for having their perspective. If I'm on the other end of this and I'm talking to Austin, I'm like, Austin, what is wrong with you? There is no circle. There's no, listen, bro, idiot. What are you doing? Right. If I'm telling him he's an idiot or wrong because I don't see what he sees, usually what happens, do you guys know what happens when you tell somebody something like that? What do they do? They dig their heels in. So they dig their heels in and they want to literally convince you otherwise. So this is what most communication is for people in almost everything. This isn't just your business. Relationships, friendships, marriages, right? So you don't get it. You don't see it. You don't understand, right? That's those conversations, right? So with that, instead of making them wrong, just being like, okay, let me see. Now, first thing I'm trying to do is this. I'm not going to try to get Austin to see my point of view. The best way to get him to see my point of view is to go see his first. This is what I do. And this is so important with new people. Whatever experience that they're having, for them, it's real. For them, it's authentic. For, whether it's frustration, anger, upset, feeling, whether it's, it doesn't matter what it is, their perspective is real to them from where they stand. So first, I'm going to try to go over here and go, oh, let me come check this out. Okay. I could see how you could see that. I could see how that would make sense. I could see how that from your standpoint, from the shoes you're wearing, from the life you've lived, from the experiences that you've had, this would be the perspective that you would have. I get that. Let me offer you mine, a different vantage point, a different viewpoint. Come check this out. And now I can bring them to the other side of the paper and say, this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm experiencing. So I'm going to validate that, but then I'm not going to leave you in that viewpoint as the only viewpoint. If I can get you to see something different, experience something different and go, well, what if there was some, what if this meant something else? Here's something when people get really dangerous, they believe that something means only something and that's it. Oh, this is what, this is, this is, yeah, this is like your fanatics, right? So this is when you get to the side. So now I can have a different level of understanding. And I'm doing this constantly, right? I can do this in all kinds of great opportunities. So I can do this with a new person. They have the perspective. They believe that secret is hard. A new person, a lot of the times, will have this perspective. Secret is hard. That's the perspective. Spect like, so now I got to get over there and go, okay, well, why, do you, why would you think secret is hard? Not that you're wrong for that perspective. Why would you believe that? Well, you know, I talked to a bunch of people and a lot of them said no, right? Okay, I get it. Listen, I remember that too. I, I was there too. Let me share you with my perspective. Did you know that the majority of people that you introduce, are, that's a different perspective. It's a numbers game. So all of this, you can do with this, but this is also really important when people are making important decisions. 
is that their truth is not the truth. What they believe about something does not mean that that's what it is. So what we need to be doing is this, is going, identifying what is our personal belief? What is our personal stance? What is our personal understanding on what something is, not what somebody's perspective is? Because guess what? Your experience is still your perspective. My, the experience that I have, the belief I have, the perspective I have on secret, I wish I could transplant 11 years of being connected to the Ben Shabbat family into your brain and understand who they are, what they represent and how they are. And some of you have gotten an understanding of that, a feeling of that. This is not a business. This is a community. People say, well, business is business. No, uh, no not this. <laughs> this, that's, this, this is not business. Is just This is personal to me. Why? Because I consider the people that are in my business, my family. And if somebody is hurting somebody in my family, I got a problem with that, right? So we got to figure out what, what, like, yeah, that's not okay. So perspective. So going back to the original conversation, as we were talking about this, we were talking about new people. So why are new people the lifeblood of our business? New people are the lifeblood of our business. Why? Because of their perspective. Oh, sorry. I'm showing it over there, right? New people, the lifeblood of our business because of their perspective, where they can see, where they're going, because they're headed in that direction. But what happens is people get into our business and let's say they've been in a year and now they have the should conversation. You guys know that? I should be further by now. Should be more by now. Should be different. Can't, like, it's a should. Should is a past conversation. Should have done this, should have done that, should have done this. And if they're not careful, they just end up shooting all over themselves and they don't get anywhere. So we all pick that one up, <laughs> right? But here's the conversation. What you've done previously has nothing to do with what you can do potentially. It just doesn't. If what you did in any business or in secret in your life in the last six months was a representation of what was possible in your future, then you got this thing twisted. You've forgotten how powerful you really are. And be careful if somebody is trying to convince you that what happened in the last six months, and if you aren't doing that, is going to determine what your future looks like. Those are those people that are dream, they're not even dream stealers. They're dream killers. Dream stealers are, stealers are people who want something. Like, I want to steal from you so I can have it myself, Right. So if somebody steals something from you, it's because they want it. But these are people that don't want your dream. They don't even want that. They just want you not to believe in theirs. Why? Because if I get you down here on my level, I don't have to be upset about being, not being up there with you. So your success threatens my mediocrity. Oh, okay. So don't let somebody tell you what you can, you can't do and what's possible. So right now, where are we going? What are we doing with this? So when I'm communicating and in communication, this is one of those things. We are going to be responsive. We're not going to be reactive. We're going to focus on our perspective and understanding what it is that we're doing. And when I'm working with my new people and when I'm working with my teams. So today, here's what's super exciting. On Thursday at 1 p.m., we are launching one of the most incredible programs and in systems inside of this incredible lifestyle community club. We just launched the 50-50 program, which is insane, where when you are a club secret member, which you're going to get the club secret membership if you use the daily deals. You guys realize if you use the daily deals, you'll save more than $600 a year. Did you guys get that, right? So if you just use the daily deals, you'll save more than $600 a year with club secret. If you use the product credit, we give you $50 in product credit back every month for your products that you're purchasing, which are the best products in their class, skincare, nutrition, hands down, nobody will ever debate or deny this because there's 20 years of expertise and wisdom behind these programs. Then on top of that, we just launched the 50-50 program, which means if you're on Club Secret and you're purchasing at least 50 QV a month, 50 QV a month, Club Secret's 50 QV and 50 QV a month in products, Every year you get an additional getaway vacation. <laughs> Woo! It's going to get exciting, right? Now, so what does this mean? Right now, what I, here's what I have felt like. 
right? So I felt like uh, I, I've been with Secret now for 11 years. I got my 11 year anniversary coming up here this month. So I'm super excited. Uh, it's actually literally almost at the view, like right after the view is my 11 year anniversary. And uh, I couldn't be more excited about the offering that we had. When I first started Secret, all I had to do, all I was able to offer people was amazing skincare products. And I don't say all is in like, wasn't good enough. It was plenty good. I went, I made a million dollars in my first 30 months, slapping mud on people as a dude knowing nothing about skincare, right? And we just went living room to living room to living room to living room to living room. And we just showed people these world-class products. When I got, to, I went to Korea this last week, I was in Korea and I was doing demonstrations on a bunch of <laughs> older Korean guys that were like, oh no, we're here for the compensation plan. We're here for the money. And I was like, I got that. But let me show you how you make money is because you can wow people with these products, unlike anything you've sold before. And they were like, okay, whatever. And I took them into the demonstration room. I did the salt and oil scrub, lost control of the meeting. I would, they wouldn't even shut up. Like, I don't even, I don't know what they were saying, but they weren't talking to me anymore. I was irrelevant. And I told them about this because I was like, this, doing this demonstration made me irrelevant. I was not important anymore. Why? The experience of the products change their state, change their attitude, change their behavior, change their smiles, change their level of excitement, their level of emotion had nothing to do with me. And who can do that with that salt and oil? Anybody. Who can go wow somebody with that? You know, who can go nail somebody with that buffer? Anybody. Who can go pull some dead skin off, right? Anybody. Who can go? You can, guys, you have magic in your hands, right? So with these products. And then you combine to them this premier membership number one. And then you top on top of it, the fact that we give it back to you in product credit. And if you're on it for a year and buy the products, you are going to get a vacation. And the programs that are launching on Thursday with this are going to be great. Now, I want you to think for those of you guys that have been with us, if you're brand new here today, oh my God, like, uh, it's almost like I wish you could have signed up in something else and had a terrible experience. I don't wish that upon you, but I, you know, like I, I want you to know how good you have it. Right. So number one, but also our job as leaders here, there are many of you that are not new. You've been with Secret for six months. You were here. I want you to think about the getaway program that started, that we launched in March, and look at what they've done in six months. Like, for real, look at what has happened in the last six months of the addition to the program, added to the program, new sites, new options, more availability, group bookings, look-throughs, all those things that have happened. Do you know what they're going to do in the next six months? Guys, I already know what they have planned for the next six months. And this isn't even getting started. Like, we're just getting warmed up. On top of that, Black Friday. On top of that, nutrition programs. On top of that, the membership is going to continue to add more and more and more and more value. So when you understand this and you get clear about it, it's very easy if you were standing from my vantage point, from my viewpoint, why what you have in your hands is so special, so unique, and something that if you take care of this in the present, your future will be guaranteed. However, if you literally look into the past, the past is not going to change your future. And past experiences, whether it be from you, disappointments, company, has nothing to do with what we can do in our future together. So don't get sucked into it. Stay in the present. And how you stay in the present, and well, stay in your future, and how you stay active as in your present is you focus on your future. This has been a huge part of my life and a huge part of my lessons. And before I close this out real quick, hold on, don't go anywhere. So... Uh, I was one of those guys that they taught me to write out dream boards and dream statements and all those different things and mission statements. And, um, and today, um, I want to read to you my 10 year vision statement. And I wrote this in January of 2020. All right now I want you guys to get this because this was January of 2020 before COVID hits. This is before Blue Diamond before, I mean, I'm sorry, before Crown Royale, before all of that, before the million dollar rings, before, before all of that. This was at a time that I had uh, struggled in my business um, because um, I was trying to hit ranks and I had a person that left and headed out of the company and went to a different area and he took a bunch of people with me. And it was really painful at that time. 
But for me, it had nothing to do with my present moment because I wasn't focused on my present because there were, they were talking about their past. I was interested in the future. And so I wrote this vision statement, this mission statement out to myself as I reworked it. And I want to read it to you guys here real quickly because uh, it's time for me to redo it because uh, I'm now 40. Oh my God, I'm 40. So which means I had my vision statement 10 years in the future. So I have it framed and I have it right up here on my wall and I read it pretty regularly. So life is beautiful. The quality of life and experiences are still hard to comprehend. I wake up every day blessed to be me. Daphne and I have the ultimate relationship. Our love and passion grows deeper on a daily basis and we have learned to achieve each other's love tanks overflowing. Our family knows that they are truly loved and we are a sense of what true happiness can look like. On a daily basis, couples are inspired to grow their love and passion from our example. We have two amazing, beautiful and talented children and we're pregnant. How crazy is that? Right. So, right. I don't know if you guys know, that was good news. I told everybody. So three, three, three months, um, April 16th, we got a McPherson on the way. So a baby Mac. So one boy and one girl, and just one look in their eyes gives me hope for the future. We are truly parents in every sense of the word. We are providing them an education for the world by explaining, giving to them experiences that shape their minds to understand that life is relationships, that life is love. They have more stamps in their passports than most will have in their entire life. We have used the world as our playground. We have worked hard and we have played hard. Our connection to this earth, nature, and God grows every day because we share an inward and outward our gratitude to this gift and experience we call life. We are always growing and learning from each other and our childlike sense of excitement and curiosity has never left. We know that no matter the season, the circumstances, we are blessed and guided by his grace. We have developed a legacy of income, not for us, but for future generations, and to contribute to causes and people that fill our spirits. Over the last decade, Secret has become a household name and product. Our business has exploded effortlessly. We are proud to have over 10,000 uh, royales, agents and above, a thousand six-figure income earners, and over a, happy, a million happy monthly customers. We are blessed to be in the top 10 in the direct sales profession. It is still hard, and it's still, uh, still hard to believe that my first book became an international bestseller, number one on the New York Times bestseller list, right? I guess one of my biggest challenges, I get requested to speak on personal growth and achievement all over the world every day, and it's hard to choose which places to go. Oh, and my speaking fee starts at 50 grand a day. We are truly citizens of the world as we have homes in many places. We have visited every country on this planet we've wanted to, and a few we can't seem to stay away from. We have a safety basket to ensure an amazing quality of life. Our momentum and investment baskets are growing in every season. We are aware of the technology changes and are enjoying and capitalizing on them, not living in fear of them. We have mastered our finances. We have low liability and high flexibility when it comes to our money, not living amongst your means. I often visit and work with some of the most powerful people and influential people of our life. We associate with others who are creating an amazing quality of life and we truly love to learn from each other and provide growth and contribution to people on this planet. My health is, and energy is better at 48 than 38 with more energy and vitality. Our kids are bilingual and I am fluent in Spanish. We live life on our terms, a life with countless magic moments, a life where I truly lived full out, a life where I danced, I loved, a true work of art, my masterpiece, my life. Now I wrote this and I dated it January 1st, 2030. And I wrote it two years ago. Now what's amazing is that a lot of these things have been coming true. Why? This is where I'm going. This is where we're going. And I know that. People say, well, how can you predict the future? You can predict the future if you create it. And right now, what all of you guys are doing is rewriting it. My perspective is clear. The direction is clear. Focus is clear. And how is it easy for me to take somebody that has a focus to keeping them off track, a direction taking them off track to get them back on track is to get them to understand where you're going. Now, sometimes that's difficult to do when you're in the midst of a personal problem in the moment. But understand, the challenges you're experiencing in the moment have nothing to do with the present. They have to do with your what? Past. So if you have an issue now, something's not working now. It's not because it's not working now. It's not working because it was something that happened over here. So don't let a destructive past or a, 
uh, something not working in the past or you not working in the past or people not working in the past or people falling out on you on the past dictate from where you're going in your future. We have something that I can't even describe to you uh, that as we're building this and as I sit in the conference rooms and as I sit in the boardrooms and as I sit inside of the world of what it is that this community is building. As I celebrated my 40th birthday with Isaac and we talked about the vision of this community and the culture of this community, the values of this community and how he would die before he let anything happen to this community. And I, I, and I know that, but it's not just him his partners in Europe, his partners in Asia, his partners in Africa, his partners all over the world that would feel the exact same way. And those are the people I'm excited to go through everything that we go through in life and everything we go through in this season. So for those of you guys that are newer to secret, I know I dumped a lot on you. That was a big subject. <laughs> all right. Some of you guys are like, I just wanted to make a hundred dollars. I want to learn how to sign up a customer. Why I got to build a 10 year vision statement. It's not what I signed up for. I know, I know I might've tricked you. So, but you got to realize is that many of you, when you got started, there are things you came here that you think you needed to learn. And we want to trick you into believing into the future that you deserve because you do, you deserve it. Okay. Right now, what that means is this is careful of your perspective and careful when somebody else is trying to take you out of your perspective, because I can tell you, when you get a view from the edge in this next weekend that we're all going to be celebrating together as we take on these new platforms, these new programs. So what do you do with all this? When the future is clear, the present is easy. And what is the easy thing to do in the present? The easy thing to do in the present is to make sure that you are there on Thursday and you get as many people on Thursday night as possible, because I know that Austin and offer are going to show people not just the incredible value that Secret has, but to be able to make sure that they understand why this company and why this community is a place for them to be able to grow, plant their flag, and build their future. Because I can tell you, these guys understand what we're building. So Thursday night, let's show up, and then we'll be back here next Tuesday for one more training as we head into a view from the edge next weekend in Dallas. So Take care. God bless. Have a spectacular week, guys. And let's go crush it. Bye for now. Thank you, Jesse. Thank, Thank you, Jesse. Jesse.